So anyway, starting in parentheses. Okay. So uh, yeah, this was hmm. So I might remember that comment I made earlier about uh, Kishi stating that he doesn't know really know how to like draw cute characters. And I also made a comment about Sakura being kind of a bad character later on because they're making really bad decisions. And there's Hinata. God damn it, Kishi. You have proven repeatedly that you know how to make strong female characters. And yet you're Sakura. Okay, oh, let, me, let me explain. Let me explain. This fight is uh, fucking crazy in the manga. In the anime too. I mean, anime as well, but God. This fight is just batshit insane with how much character growth there is in here as well as there's backstory, there's character development, like crazy involving Hinata. It sets up a grudge perfectly between Neji and Naruto. Uh, it's hard hitting, and it ends with some pretty good shock factor. So, you know, maybe I'm the only one who thinks this this fight was exceedingly good, but yeah. Okay, wake up, throw. Also, I still barely know how to use Hinata. This, this sounds me because. Even after all these years, um, even after Hinata became a very cookie cutter character, unfortunately, and um, later Shippuden, which is unfortunate because she's a fucking great character. Rewatching, God, seeing Hinata stand up after uh, getting knocked down repeatedly uh, from Neji actually had me tearing up. Like, oh my God, this, God damn it, this is so good. I know I'm, I'm more or less gushing right now, but it's scary just how good the scene actually was. Anyway, so I got the fight hand. Um, I know a little bit of stuff with uh, Hinata. Not a crit. Is that high crush? I think it does. That's crazy. An upbeat of high crushes. You don't really see that a lot in these games. Besides, like, Sasuke. Wait. Holy shit, okay. I wonder if you can go. I wonder if there's shit you can do with that. Um, short hop, air B. Oh, you just gotta be real careful with that. <laughs> we could definitely dick someone over by just like creating a lot of distance all of a sudden. Okay, I'm gonna stop doing lab work with Hinata now. I'm gonna actually try to take this a little bit seriously. Up A, up A. Okay, no. Oh, that's a vicious counter, by the way. <laughs> Uh, he totally got to counter that, actually. Um, just got a timeout victory, but damn. But yeah, God. He, he knocks his face covered in blood with a still a confident look in her eyes after getting up off the floor is just... To say it was heart-wrenching, but we are putting it lightly. Especially when Kishi put a lot of time into drawing the fight in manga. It was crazy. Again, I don't want it to seem like I'm gushing, but it's... It's scary with remembering just how good the character development and pacing was at the start of the Naruto series. I mean, no, no, don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong. Shippuden has good stuff as well, but early Naruto, good shit too. Alright, so 6400. Eh, that's enough to buy a new character or something. Wait, am I really almost done with this? <laughs> I'm on the same, I'm on one recording session, and I'm already at the Trinity exam finals. Yeah, I've only been recording this for like an hour. Dude, holy shit. Okay. I would, uh... I would consider that a good record. Of course, I'll be wrong. There's still a bunch, like, 10 more chapters after this, but I think I'm seeing... God, I... D yeah, it's been forever since I've actually seen my old Let's Play <coughs> of Clash of Ninja 2. Even though I still frequently get comments on it. Um, it's crazy how much that works out. Um... Words. Fuck. Lost him. Okay. Oh, by the way. Hinata in the training field. Naruto swinging by, saying you're alright. Hinata actually admitting she's beginning to like herself more as a person because she's adopted Naruto Ninja way and acknowledging the confidence Naruto's given her. <sighs> Hyuga's need buffs. H Hyuga's really, really need buffs in this, in this franchise. Which is funny because... It, it's so crazy um, seeing the Byakugan being influenced by Neji that actually was really fucking strong at this point in the time. With a quote unquote uh, absolute defense that um, Palmer rotation gave, as well as being able to shut down chakra points, as well as having 360 degree vision. It's crazy remembering a time when 
Byakugan was legitimately more powerful than the Sharingan. That sky is going very fast, holy crap. The funny thing is that's not like a graphical glitch on the emulator. I'm pretty sure that's actually a thing in the original game too. That's a full-on punish, my god. Okay. Yeah, by the way, for Neji, um, sidestepping is generally good. Uh, he's a very fast striker with a lot of good range. Truthfully, um, I think I would consider myself an Neji, an Neji main back in the day before switching to uh, Kakashi with Sharingan, but... Oh, damn. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Jab that guy out of the way. Throw. Oh my god, that worked! <laughs> I didn't think that would work. I legitimately did not think that would work. Because, like, m my mentality there was, like, he's up in the air, I could probably get my super to work. Oh, wait, my super's giving me too much distance. Oh, wait, the entirety of Naruto's shoulder is the activation window. Jesus Christ. That is That was scary how that worked out. Oh, okay. Yeah, I don't think I was able to execute that one. I, I caught my back dash. Oh. But yeah, I know Neji's not nearly as overpowered in this as he is in the anime. Again, I said this earlier, but it's scary seeing um, Naruto at a point in the series where he's not completely over overpowered. Oh. Oh. Wow, okay. Stopping the string early to go for a throw. That's actually impressive. Alright, alright, alright. I should probably mention that I'm currently pl My experience over the last two years, um, since I last played Clash Ninja has been very interesting. Um, I've learned a lot of stuff competitively, like, I pl I've played a lot of Tekken these days, um, not really so much, but I do a lot of research into it, and there's a lot of stuff I do find legitimately fascinating. Um, 3D fighting games I've always found to be very... Um, enjoyable in general because of the full XYZ axis movements. Being able to sidestep to punish someone is like one of the most satisfying things ever. Oh, okay, that's gonna be mine. Back B. Alright, back B is still really safe, so that's good. I could probably eat a loss up with that also. Alright, time for something stupid. Empty jump super! <laughs> I love it. Empty jump supers can be a lot more dangerous than you think. Um, empty jumping is a concept where you jump and the opponent doesn't ex expect an aerial move, but you don't do anything. You jump, jump in, and they're like they're still subconsciously expecting something. So there's a lot of hesitation, and you can do whatever you want as a free mix-up. That's what empty jumping is. Uh, it was really popular back in Street Fighter, where you could, um, or Street Fighter Three, where you could do parries out of the air. Really fun times, by the way. So, uh, yeah, uh, general philosophy stuff with that. Eh, I'm popular tonight, but... Eh? Yep, okay. Sorry, just checking Facebook really fast. Oh, yeah. God, Neji would not shut the fuck up about Destiny. Which is funny, because objectively, he has every right to, but he... He, he, he really fails to under... Or... There's a point that's gonna go with that. Um... This is something that was really bothering me about early Naruto. Like, I, I've been gushing about it until now, but... They really, really harp on the idea of... Uh, hard workers versus geniuses. Like, Sasuke, regards as a genius. Rock Lee, hard worker. That's not gonna surpass geniuses. I'm just like... Does no one know that you can learn other shit and get better? Because... Naruto surpasses everyone like a heartbeat. So, I don't know? Nobody's perfect, but they somehow expect think geniuses are perfect, so I'm like, god, okay. I don't know, it has something to do with, like, natural talent versus other stuff. I'm pretty sure th they're thinking the whole natural talent thing is just fucking Keke Genkai. Which, they're not wrong, Keke Genkai does give you, like, huge benefits, but not as much as you might think. Like, Lee could fuck up Sasuke, like, Noah's business. Or at least before this fight. After... Once Gara is back, and if, you know Lee wasn't um, crippled, uh, he might, he could definitely still go toe to toe, if not outright beat him. You know, reasons. <laughs> also, I don't know if Sasuke would actually be able to beat Neji at this point in time. I don't know. I, irrelevant. Now, now for, now for. Wow, we have not actually shown him off. Wait, did we skip that fight? 
If what the wait, did we skip that fight? Um, pardon me a sec. Something's bothering me. Did we skip the? Oh, oh, I fucked up. <laughs> I fucked up. Oh, that explains that. I was like, wait a minute. This isn't the first time we see Gara. In fact, there's a very important fight in the preliminary rounds that was Rock Lee versus Gara, one of the best fights in the show, actually. And I'm like, oh. Did I skip that by accident? Oops. I, I, mm, shit, sorry. I was getting a little too caught up in the narrative of this, and yeah. Well, to be fair, I did go from a very good fight to one of the best fights. By the way, Naruto and Neji, I didn't mention this before. Goddamn brilliant fight. I'm, like... I'm, I don't use the word brilliant often, but that's a good fight. I don't really think a lot of people can object to that. The build-up, the suspense, the fucking execution, the backstory, the, ex the character development, the growth. God damn it, it the fight was so good. Mm. Ah, I was a little slow at times, but that's about it. Anyway, so this fight. The, the fight that actually put Lee on the bleachers until or on the bench until... Very close to the end of the show, actually. Well, until the very end of part one. I'm going to start doing that from now on. I'm going to call um, Original Naruto part one. I'm going to call Shippuden part two. That's what I'm going to do. I think people have been doing that for a while anyway, but I'm going to start doing it officially. So, yeah. Um, this is the fight that put Lee on the ble on the bench until the end of part one. Um, and it's a very good fight. Like, my god. <clears throat> It perfectly showcases uh, Lee's full tenacity in a fight versus uh, really introducing Gara's full-on murderous mentality. Because you only really got a taste of it until now. Okay, down next does work. Um, one very big change for Lee from GNT 1 to 2 is, of course, the inclusion of being able to use the gates. Because that was not a thing originally. Okay, so what I mean by that is... If you press... That's going to hit. <laughs> is the inclusion of this. Kaboom. Yeah, this is something that's actually completely exclusive to Lee. The ability to use the eight gates. Um, let me go figure, right? But no, it goes a little bit deeper than that. Because if you use the third gate... I like how he stops blocking there. Um, if you use the final uh, third gate, uh, Gate of Life, you actually slowly start taking... You start losing a, lot, a good amount of your health, but your chakra like infinitely rises. If you have an attack buff, I don't know of it offhand. Oh shit. Oh, Lee's got some crazy stuff. By the way, Air A is actually scary with Lee. Kaboo. Ah, oh, fuck. I want to connect that because it's a completely unique animation. Oh yeah. Gar is actually a surprisingly decent melee attacker in this game. Which is weird because sand, projectiles two and two together, you would not immediately associate him with that. Okay. I need an empty jump. God damn it. He, he actually ex escaped that. Yeah, I'm going to lose this one. That's fine. I wouldn't mind having another round. To be able to show the shit off. Oh my god. He ate that. And I ate that because I what, did a dumb. Okay, go for that. Um... However, before you activate it, you can just press the down X the once and you'll get a free uh, attack buff. There we go. I want to do that. Um, that's an exclusive animation for Primary Lotus if you connect on Gaara. It will... That was, that was a bad. That was a bad. That was fine. Um, he'll kick him up in the air multiple times like he did in the show in order to um, push Gaara into the air because the sand armor was weighing him down a lot. Oh, ho, ho, yes. Go for a flash. Yes. Gotta get the flash factor at the end there. God, Lee is... Lee is ridiculously fun in this game, by the way. Like, I, I don't think I need to explain it too much. You probably saw it for yourself, but Jesus Christ. And unfortunately, that did not work very well. Yeah, Sand Clones would do that. Was the Sand... No, uh, the Sand Clone was for... Um... <coughs> Um, the, the first primary Lotus, and then after hitting Lotus, it was... It was something. What the hell? I think Gaara just used his sand as a general, like, cushion while hitting Lotus was going on. To be fair, if he didn't, 
I think Garo would have been fucked six ways to Sunday after that. And so, as a result, uh, Lee had... God, the damage to Lee was extensive. Like... It's amazing that um, the bones were destroyed so much that they said he could never be a ninja again for the rest of his life. But I'm just like, how thoroughly were those bones shattered? Like, it was like the first Harry Potter movie where um, Harry takes like a potion to like restore his arm, but it fucks up and there's like the bones are gone. By the way, that's a terrifying idea by itself. That, like, imagine how bad it must be. All right, so. Oh, no, that wasn't the first Harry Potter movie. That was the second one with uh, Lockhart. It's scary how much I'm reference or... F first, Brad and I are talking about Lockhart from uh, Toho. Now we're talking about it here. What? Okay, hang on. That was bad. Okay, I need to focus. By the way, another weird thing is that um, Sasuke with Sharingan is actually a thing in this game with the black outfit that he actually used for this fight. But it's not being used here. It's just vanilla sausage. Oh shit, okay. If I use something else there, I could probably gotten away with it. Shit, okay. But yeah, no, Garo's got strangely good offense in this game. Like, I don't know. It's weird. For some reason, Garo's always had some of the best uh, physical offense in these games for Genin. Much better than Shikamaru. Definitely better than a lot of characters in here, actually. Again... I don't know. Holy shit, you can that counters kunai? Dude, the only other move I know of that counters kunai is fucking uh eight palms rotation. That was scary. Oh, okay. So, um Sasuke. I I, I love the grunting. <laughs> the grunting is a little obscene. Okay, I need to go a little bit further with that. Douche, 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 douche. Yeah, there's a lot of steps you can do with Sasuke at the wall. Um, you really want them to press a button if you have them against the wall, so that way you can convert for full damage. God damn it. Okay. Aha! Okay. Damn it, that should have worked. Okay. If the general rule... I, I didn't mean to lose that fight, by the way. Or that round. There we go! Yeah, you... Um, one of the key strategies of the meta game is you want your opponent to, opponent to press a button because they think you'll end the string early. Um. Oh shit, okay. You can throw directly out of the guard. Looks weird. Alright, so. Here we go. Oh my. That even fucking hit, but it still countered it. Alright. Oh shit, okay. I was pressing forward for like a second there. Alright. Uh, up B! Okay, well, I just gotta go. Yeah, up B is a, is a surprisingly good move. It can high crush, low crush. Um, if they actually block it, then it's... That with a trade? Um, God damn it. Um, if it collides with another move, there's a good chance you'll be far enough away to avoid a punish. God damn it, okay. I just need a jab. I just need a jab because it'll break his armor most likely. Or not his armor, um, the back B. That's surprising how good that or effective that is.